Hello everybody, Reaper here, hope you're all well. I've been out this week and tried something new with some of my court mates from the Phoenix Cartel. We went on a small roam to Nullsec and I fitted out some T5 cruisers. We had 11 of them, we went for a fairly cost effective fit but with a combined large amount of DPS and we went out into Nullsec, looked for some Crimson Anomalies and along the way we had some fun with PvP. We ended up killing a Gila and uh, busting a gate camp, a small gate camp with a Phantasm Gila and an Arbitrator Cova Ops. We had a lot of fun so this video I want to explain about how the group shield modules work. So let's get right into this. I've gone with an optimal fit that's going to give me the most DPS without breaking the wallet. So in the high slots I've gone with Kaldari Navy medium torpedo launchers. And in the low slots we've got a full duplex ballistic control system. I've got a dealer micro warp drive. Put us into range nice and fast. The whole fleet would have the same. We've got a Mark 7 adaptive invulnerability field. And we've got a medium shield extender. Looking at the mid slots I went for a Mark 5 infiltrator. Just again to save a little bit on costs and I have an interruptive warp disruptor you may have noticed since scramblers have come onto the market these have dropped drastically in price and I have a couple of damage rigs and in the engineering rigs I've got an auxiliary thruster and a, a rig to boost my maximum capacitor and looking at the mid slots the important one here is the group medium shield booster we're boosting 148 shield hit points every 15 seconds and that's for a fuel consumption amount of 300 gigajoules. Now it's very important to understand that this is not actually using your ship's capacitor. It's using fuel which you can obtain from planetary resources. My ship's using plasmoids which I'll talk to you about in a moment. You can see here the capacitor is only lasting for 30 seconds so it says but if we Click on this station and dock up. I'll show you what happens when I unfit that module in particular. Okay, so if I go to my fittings here, click on this group shield uh, booster and remove the module, you can see my capacitor has increased to one minute and 55 seconds. Your capacitor will always be at one minute 55 seconds, even if you have that module loaded. I believe this is just a presentation issue that the game is finding it difficult to understand that you're using this fuel here, the plasmoids, which for everyone is giving 191 gigajoules. So it costs around 2000 ISK to buy one of these. Can be expensive to use this very, very frequently, but for specific fleet engagements, it's very worthwhile having. Using the group shield boosters means you are able to collectively heal all of your fleet members using as many modules as you want in my particular engagement that you're going to see in a moment when i took my fleet out into nullsec most of our ships had two shield boosters a couple of them had some of the armor repairers the group armor repairer modules few of us had uh, designated uh, points and disruptors. You can see here now I've just activated the module and it's f it's firing out a, a big bubble which goes out to 12 kilometers. Anybody within this bubble, 12 kilometers, any friendly ships will be healed for the amount of shield we saw earlier on when we were looking at that module. For every 15 second cycle, I'm using a single plasmoid. So for the particular engagement I'm about to go on, I think I took around 1,200 plasmoids and that would be enough with a single group booster to last for a very, very long time. And if you're not sure what you have left, you can always go into your cargo and check. So these modules you need to stagger them what i mean by that is if you are all activating your modules at the same time you've got a very long delay of 15 seconds before your ally or courtmate receives the next boost so what i've advised uh, my fellow courtmates to do is if they've got two of the modules to fire off the first one count to five or six seconds and then fire off the second one 
If you really wanted, you could have a couple of the medium group capacitor uh, transmitters loaded just to keep capacitor up. But ideally, you're going to be burning towards a target. A couple of your court mates will have stasis weather fires so you can effectively lock the targets down, turn off your micro warp drive. You're not having to boost any shield yourself. You're using the group shield boosters which are keeping the whole entire fleet alive, not having to worry about the capacitor and of course when you've got that target locked down you would disengage your micro warp drive. Using these modules also makes fleet management and fleet control a piece of cake. If people were having to use um, normal remote reps that every person that was taking damage would have to broadcast that I need to be repaired. Your fleet would have to find that person on the overview, make sure you've got them locked down, and you would have to apply the boosts. Using the group modules, none of that applies. You just need to make sure, and the rules I've set for this particular engagement, I've told my court mates that I'd like everybody in this Crimson Anomaly to go to my broadcast here and then engage the broadcasted target and I've asked everybody to set their orbit at around two or three kilometers so all I have to do is give the one broadcast I'm telling everybody to go to that rat in space and then everything else is set into place everybody will be within a certain distance of all the other people in fleet they'll be able to keep the group boosters maintaining and keeping targets alive as you can see now my court mates are starting to activate these modules so all of us are being healed particularly whoever's taking damage this means we can take a larger amount of punishment that we could otherwise receive being on our own or using independent shield boosters this is definitely the way to go out into nullsec as a small fleet and run anomalies uh, dead space anomalies or event anomalies as we're doing at the moment and we're in fairly cheap ships if another fleet were to uh, come along it would be a very very good fight be very interesting to watch i was very much hoping we'd find some more players out this way as as i said before we did bust up a small gate camp consisting of a couple of nice faction ships however i didn't record it because i got quite excited when i saw a gila and thought we were going to blow it up which was quite frustrating the thing i like most about this fleet composition is that i'm able to broadcast targets for pve like this if people are shooting random or different targets it's not mattering too much because we're not in trouble we can easily get through these targets very very fast the pvp scenario again i'm able to just broadcast targets court mates can follow that means that not everybody necessarily has to be on voice comms like they would if you were using um, remote reps to be able to call out who needs the remote rep if we if you have logistics on board this is very much a low maintenance and effortless way for you to go out and have some fun and do some PvP and do some PvE as well. So in case any of you guys were wondering what these modules do, how they work, how you can use them effectively, this is a pretty good example. I've not push the boat out so much again i wish i'd captured some pvp and not just this pve but in the pvp scenario you would have to have a relatively equal size fleet to be able to put up a fight also again i'm only using t5 cruisers here and i think we even had one trainer on board who actually subsequently got the kill on the gila which is quite hilarious I would like to thank all of my court mates from Phoenix Cartel. Making this video was very enjoyable with everybody that participated. And of course, if everybody else here has learned something new, enjoys my content, it would mean a great deal to me if you could like and subscribe. And again, if you have any questions, please post in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.